welcome to your yoga practice for today. I would like to make a connection for you right away to make yourself comfortable in your space wherever you want that to be. So if you have a blanket or a mat, great. If you have the earth, great. If you have whatever you have is perfect. But you want to make yourself comfortable. If you have something to support your knees, that might be nice. You could be wearing anything, so you could be in the office, or in your dorm room, or in the library, or outside, if you have access to safely be outdoors, on the earth, connected to the earth, it's very helpful, right? It can be very helpful right now. So, thank you for being here and I'd like to invite you to um, say that mantra in your mind a few times over and over just thank you thank you thank you like just sending it out as a general vibe powerful vibration thank you just thinking it over and over in your mind in this simple gratitude mantra to start the practice to open the practice in this powerful way together so that whatever time anyone is watching this video now we're all connected and interlinked in this web of humanity and just take a big breath in right because that's a big thing take a big breath in and like as long as it's comfortable and safe wherever you're at inside your mask or outside through your mouth or your nose exhale big sigh to let it go <sighs> and when you let it have that ha sound it's so good for your nervous system can be so soothing and calming so again take a big breath in through your nose fill your belly your ribs and your chest your heart space Maybe hold that breath in for an extra moment and whenever you need will all be different. Big sigh again through the nose or mouth to let it go. Let's do that once more together. Big breath in. Maybe hold at the top again. Soften for a moment. Lengthen your spine. Soften your scoot of uh, soften your soften your suit of armor, your skin suit, your muscles. Keep sipping in, breathing in more air, prana, life, and hold for as long as you can in a big sigh to let it go if you hadn't yet, whenever you need. And when you're ready, let's do spinal range of motion. So sit any way that's comfortable for you. If you need to readjust from where you were, feel free make space get grounded you need one or both legs out straight great you're in a chair great whatever you need to do perhaps hands behind inhale to lift the chest spine extends maybe the the chin lifts if that feels comfortable and safe but squeeze your glutes and the back body muscles to support the front and then exhale to tuck the front body in and round stretch into the back just move super slow on your own breath so inhale, spine extends. Squeeze the back body to support. Exhale, spine flexes. Flex and engage the front body, the core, belly in, tailbone tucks, chin tucks to stretch the back. Couple more each way. Just to whatever degree feels right but check in with each of the three parts of your spine, you guys. So the spine moves three ways. This is the first, but there's three parts of your spine. Is your pelvis rocking? Can you do just flexion and extension in your low back? So you could do this laying down or sitting in a chair, right? Bring this range of motion. You could bring hands to your hip bones to feel your pelvis. Your pelvis is two bones, so feel that rocking forward and back like a big dial, like a big hockey puck dial. Pelvis dials forward, tailbone goes back. Pelvis dials back, tailbone goes down. So if you're into that like deeper sense of anatomy, deeper sense of body awareness, and if it's not resonating or you're like, what? It's fine too. But then flexion extension to your ribs. Right, so try to keep your core engaged, low back still now, but just 
keep the head and neck stable, even the shoulders as well, and can you isolate your thoracic spine? So lumbar spine is low, the pelvis tilting forward and back in the low back, and then rib cage is thoracic spine, and we tend to get really sticky and tight here, so you can take your time to try to isolate a bit into that. Each of your ribs stretch front, back, and side to side, and, and then you can really go kind of deep with this. Then you can do cervical spine, chin lifts just to comfort, and then chin gently tucks. Still, everything is long though. Neck is long, spine is long, and it's flexion. So inhale, chin lifts just to comfort shoulders, could squeeze back, body lifts, exhale to round. And so I've personally had a lot of major spinal injuries to this area of my spine. Um, my cervical spine, my thoracic spine, so I've had many severe injuries. So I'm super limited um, unless I'm working on it every day, and I haven't been. So um, all of our experiences will be very different. I share that to let you know all of our experiences will be very different in um, where we feel perhaps limited or um, um, even discomfort we have to be careful and work with. Um, and you might not have any pain or injuries or anything like that at all. And that's a wonderful blessing and still great to care for your spine, the health and integrity of your spine, your lifeline, um, the best you can. So I wish I would have uh, heard the universe sooner te trying to teach me that lesson. So anyway, flexion and extension, right? You got it now. Front to back in each of the three parts of your spine. And then side to side. So... So again, you can take the legs into any shape. My knees kind of need a break, so you can take um, the legs into any shape here, and then we'll side bend. So it's really about just the same way you went front to back with your spine. Can you feel that side bending? You might do it with hands even grounded. And this one, side body, we tend to be, or I, I tend to be anyway, perhaps other people um, tend to be, I hear them often say they feel surprisingly tight in their side bodies. So if you're grounded heavy into your, you're really rooted into your seat, you could reach the arm if that feels safe, but even just doing it without. So you could do this all the time in the grocery store line, in your office or, or classroom chair, you're nourishing your spine, your lifeline, your breath, you're oxygenating everything. So um, with or without the arm, you might lay the head back into the hand. And you're using this hand for support, but you're kind of light on it. Shoulders drop uh, back, unless this arm is extended, and then let that shoulder blade and top of the shoulder come up, but heart lifts here. And you could add movement and, and a really uh, the invitation is to move intuitively and organically in whatever ways feel good to your body. Maybe you bring this other hand around and you're like, what's even happening in the side of my body right now? Like, um, again, for me, I've had lots of really major injuries head to toe, literally head to toe my whole over the course of my um, life. So... Uh, um, and I've been kind of sedentary the last couple of days, so I'm really feeling, um, I feel a lot of, uh, well, pain anyway, almost every day, but restriction as well. So again, whatever your experience is, the practice of yoga is no, um, just like observing that, but not attaching to it or, um, just, you know, breathing right into the next moment. It's just the exploration of without judgment. It's an investigation without interrogation. So side bend to the second side when you're ready and if you hadn't yet. And you can always just do side to side. Keep it going. If you want to 
keep movement going. So if you want a more active practice, you could even be in a simple low lunge doing all of this stuff. So a simple low lunge with your back knee down or lifted, and you're getting a big hip strength and hip stretch shape there, and then adding these ranges of motion. So you could be do, have been done front back, and then side, side bending in a low lunge is surprisingly challenging. So we can all customize the practice very e pr pr pretty easily, and I'm in a small space here to show you um, that's all that you might need. So we did front to back, side bending, side to side. If you just held those um, stagnant uh, side bends, you might just do one or two more just to see. So we have one more range of motion for our spine. We did front to back, side to side. And then the last one is rotation. Gentle twist. The key is breath work and spine supported and lift. So lift your whole head, lift the top of your head with your chin a bit tucked, lift your kind of heart and rib cage as a whole piece, draw in around the waist like a toothpaste tube, but all the way around all of these core muscles draw in to help support and you press down into your seat to breathe into all of that space and you can take any shape or um, kind of exploratory movement with the arms if you wanted to. Again, you might be in a, a, a higher low lunge, a simple low lunge or a crescent twist or just sitting here in this twist another breath and then holding it as long as it nourishes you as long as it feels safe for you just whenever you're ready slowly unwind and take a moment to pause and breathe and sit tall between the sides of the twist especially more so than even front to back or side to side though you might come back to that gentle really gentle after you've sat tall, maybe gentle cat and cow, as the discs of your spine imbibe and soak back in this gel-like substance that kind of um, hydrates and nourishes and protects them. So your spine kind of soaks back in all of this and then sit super tall. Maybe you stretch your arms up or up and out and circle your wrists and stretch between your fingers and stretch your jaw and roll your eyes and remember your legs could be bent or straight or in any shape or sitting in a chair if you need or in that lunge and then just twisting to that second side when you're ready and of course you could move fluidly um, gently side to side just over the course of each breath or you could stay in each side for quite a bit breathe and ground and really align and linger in that mindful um, compassionate practice of this mindful movement to nourish the spine your lifeline Think about gently allowing the twist again into your low back, so from your navel, your heart center, your forehead, but sitting tall and no force, no strain, no pain, never moving into all, any of those, um, aiming to avoid them, aiming to feel safe so that the practice also um, has integrity in its effect upon our nervous system while we're in the practice so uh, what we feel and our intention um, can really have an impact there and just so letting go of even all of the weight of that just take another breath another breath in another breath out and if you hadn't yet so we're all moving intuitively in our own way if you hadn't yet unwind from your twist and then you might need to switch the way that you're sitting to get more comfortable. And if what you could do is a 15 minute practice today, 
then you can take a moment just to end it. <laughs>